Since Impact 1.1, we actually added a built-in image uploader. And uh, though this makes the process of uploading and adding images to your Impact page templates uh, much easier and uh, just more effective, um, it may not be uh, totally clear how to use it uh, if you're uh, upgrading from 1.0, which used the WordPress uh, media library. So let me just show you how to use it, and uh, I'll run through the process real quick now. Um, if you go to your template builder in Impact, um, let's just uh, we'll just start working off of a, def a default uh, page template. Click Show Template Options. In here, uh, let's say we wanted to add a logo image. So what we would do is go to Title Area, and uh, we go ahead and just upload our image. So we're going to click Browse. As you can see, this brings up this nice built-in image uploader. What I'm going to do is actually create a subfolder. You can upload it directly into the main impact folder, but I'm going to create a subfolder um, by right-clicking on the impact folder and left-clicking New Subfolder. And I'll just call this Test. And there it is. Now the reason I did this is if I want to export this and I want it to include the images, I'm going to want my subfolder to be the exact same name as the actual template I, name that I give it. So I would need to give this template the name of test to work with the images upon import and export. So I've created this, uh, this subfolder called test and now I'm going to upload my image. So I just click on upload. And as you can see I'm already in a folder that has a logo image that I wanted to upload. So you just double click the image and as you can see it automatically uploads it to your site. Uh, now all you have to do to add it to the actual option area is just double click the image and as you can see it adds the relative URL to the uh, logo image uh, option and uh, then if you just change your title from text title to logo image as you can see there's your logo right there. So it's, it's super simple, um, it's very easy to use. Um, you can do this with any of your background areas uh, just by clicking browse, uh, uploading the image, and double clicking the image to add it to the URL, and then actually selecting what type of background uh, you want to use, and it will display your image uh, as such. Uh, and then of course these images will display on your actual front end WordPress pages when you add these impact page templates to your WordPress pages and posts. So anyway, I hope you uh, found this uh, video tutorial helpful, and have a great day.